but it's his face. And Yolanda. Um, here's our little, uh, Yolanda made a little, um, Halloween tag. Yeah, she got skills. Look. <laughs> How cool is that? Hmm. She gave our, our little Halloween pumpkins culture marks. Oh, you can't tell you have culture marks. Um, eyebrows. Eyebrows, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're white on the eyes. <laughs> that would be missing is a cigar. <laughs> and, uh, Dang, last opportunity. <laughs> uh, yeah. But she made his little Halloween um, Lion, Lion Paul 55 sign. How cool is that? <laughs> no, I want to stick a cigar in one of the pumpkins <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're trying a, a new spot for um, recording, guys, so I hope it works out. Yeah, let me know if the lighting is better. Okay. Um, here's a journal I made for Yolanda. Um, I surprised her with it. It's, um... Made out of a paper bag. It's really sweet. How cool is that? It's like a mixed media journal. The the cover. I put it has one fat signature in it, and you see, and it will fit in your in your um. Not in your pocket because it's really wide. <laughs> <laughs> but you could tuck it away in, in a tote or whatever. But yeah, this is it came pretty good. I used like two or three stencils from um, Cutters Workshop, and this is a photo of um color page right here and I use another color page on the back of the town and more stenciling yeah I had fun with the outside cover but just so they first try to make it stiff so that it would be um but it turned out pretty well um thanks Jenny and that's Jenny Belly on YouTube for showing us this, her she has 220 layer techniques um from mixed media yeah and her channel is just simply wonderful and it is so cool if you don't if you it's, it's that white she she solves that white page syndrome and <laughs> <laughs> or how do I get from point A to point Z <laughs> she solves the syndrome and before you know it, it's done and before I finish the 20 layers I was done I, I found it the spot I want to stop it but anyway um, this is a um, this is a junk journal it's, it holds um, envelopes she has um, room for write, writing space in here, and um, yeah, I have a lot of things to play with. There's pockets and tags. Oh, whoop, whoop. not a tag yet. We need a tag. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. that is there is <laughs> like a pocket. Julie, there's a pocket. <laughs> you know I'm something. Po yeah. <laughs> 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 the pocket queen here. Yeah. <laughs> That's an old um, insurance envelope. Sorry, guys. I only had one. And I, I, let me tell you, let me tell you something. Uh -oh. I hoarded this envelope right here. Like there was no tomorrow. It's, I can't find any more like it. It's a very long envelope, but it's really cool. And I just cut the envelope, the flap in half, so she can tuck things inside. There we go. But um, there's journal paper. I'm trying to be very careful because I forgot to cover some information here and I didn't want to be seen. Sorry, guys. A mixture of envelopes and um, yeah, plenty of white space. It's too much white space. I have to add more to this book. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay. Oh, and some some um journal paper that we made out of um, noble paper. Some, uh, can't, 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 can't remember the name of this paper right here. <laughs> and I just blanked out. Like, I, started, I, started, I, started, I, started thinking, I started thinking of mathematics quadrants. <laughs> she can't remember the name of it either. But we put some of our old um, envelopes in here. And I used to do math on that. <laughs> and, um, okay. <laughs> Got the 45 paper. I think it's some tea party in here. Some, um, recipe paper. It's a little bit of everything here. Okay. That's the other end of the envelope I was telling you about. Here we go. And it's the back cover. But yeah. It's one paper bag. It's your regular. Let me open the book up so you can see. It's your regular so lunch size. It was it was a heavy duty paper bag I had. And I just I just gessoed it and, and I glued everything shut around the edges. And that's what I came up with. And put some beads on the side. And that's where her signature is sewn in. Oh. Let's just another book I can show you. Oh, okay. Right there. This is one signature. Yeah. It turned out really nice. You know, they liked it. I love it. Yay. Yay. And it helps me practice my uh, mixed media. <laughs> there we go. And look. Let's not forget this. <laughs> Yay. And I used a punch. Oh, yeah. I used a punch. Thanks, Dee. 
I'm seeing how much time I got. I can tell like you about everyone it. Everyone else? I can tell you about it real quick. Oh yeah, let me tell you real quick. We had um, border punches. We didn't know how to use them. <laughs> I mean, we knew how to punch the one punch, <laughs> but there was never no one ever put a tutorial on how to line it up. <laughs> so I had punches. I'm looking. I was like, it was no fun because we could not. We could line them up. <laughs> Guess what? We know how to line them up now. Trial and error. Nobody helped us, YouTube. <laughs> I gotta say that. <laughs> yeah, but now we know how to do it. It's so much fun, guys. Look, everybody, we we, look, we all late. Uh huh. <laughs> it's <all> late. <laughs> but anyway, she used the border punch here. You probably can't see it too much, but yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's your sign. That's our that's our special Halloween sign. And it's our journal. Okay. Thanks everybody. Thanks. Bye. Bye.